Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial we will learn about the query, query builders. So these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. What is the query builder, get the data, where conditions, find, count, insert, delete, etc. Right. So now the first question is that what is the query builder? So query builder is are some functions that is provided by the Laravel and they help you to perform some operation with the database and they are just a very tiny and small function like uh, here you can even just guess the name insert update delete and you can just do any that you just want to do with the database so uh, guys if you did not watch our previous video which is related to the how you can connect your mysql database with the laravel you can just watch the that video and link is given in the description box in this video i am just going to go uh, with the database configuration very quickly but last video is about the details so now uh, for the database configuration let's open the .env file and you have to just put the three things database name username and the password so database name is here you can just check from your database mysql database this is a youtube all right and username is the root and password is red at, at the rate one two three in your case it can be blank now i am just going to make a controller so that i can just write the code here so just write here php artisan make controller and controller name let's say my controller name is profile and just hit the data right and now let's make a route for it make the route just go inside the web.php file just write here route get and now let's put the route name which is profile and now your controller name profile at the rate index i'm just going to make a function with the name of index and i will just write the whole code here like this so now let's find out your controller inside the controller folder let's refresh it and profile right so let's make a function here function index and just return uh, hello and let's check that a controller is working fine or not so that we can just start with the database code this is working fine now when you just start with your query builder you must have to import the db class and that this the path of this is eliminate support now facet and let's use the capital db now your class is imported here and now let's just return here return db and first method name is table and here you can just write here table name like users here you can see that my table name is users right and here have some four records so just user and just write here get and with this method you will just find the whole data from the users table and here you can see that right so these are the four records from the database now let's see the next thing that how we can put the where condition for put the where condition you just have to write here where and in the where you just have to put the column name like name and what you want to put the condition let's say i just want to get the data with the name of ricky right so i just put the name ricky here and okay yep i actually have to use a single arrow here yep and also just remove the arrow and just put a colon here now let's try to run it now uh, you can see that we have only one data that means you just put the where condition here so let's see some more conditions like this so let's let's take a variable with the name of data and insert everything here just choose your print r dollar data and let's say you want to just put here you just want to get the total count of the data uh, total count count of the record so just use the count method and you will find the whole data so if i am just going to 
refresh it then you will find the four data is here that means there is four record this is perfectly fine let's say you just want to get the first data and now you can see that you have a first data with the id of three that's perfect so let's say you just want to perfect some data with the id then you just can put your method find and just write here like eight that means it will find the data with the i id of eight right so if i just put here then you can see that we got the peter with the id eight so now you can see the most of the things now uh, let's see that how we can insert update and delete first of all i'm just going to show you that how we can use the delete so with the delete you just have to put the wait condition let's say you want to delete the data which have the name of ricky and let's put here delete method right and you don't need this find method now let's refresh it now you can see that you got the one that means the record is deleted if i am just going to refresh it then you can see that now we have only three data perfect so let's see that how we can insert the data for insert the data you don't need a where condition and just write here insert and in the insert just choose an array and inside the array just put here the column names like name can be like uh, Bruce right is Bruce is present here no Bruce is not present here right after that uh, let's put the password for the Bruce and password can be like um, 987 and that's third one and last one email email can be like Bruce at the rate test.com and let's refresh it now you can see that data is inserted just reload the table ignore the warnings i don't know why this warning is coming in the up in the new video i will just resolve this problem so sorry about that for video right uh, so you can just see that we got the new data also so let's say the just see the last operation which is update how we can use it for that you just write here update and you have to put the where condition i just want to update the, to the data where name is bruce and the password can be like uh, 111 and bruce 111 is the uh, new email address right and now I'll just refresh it now you can see that the operation has been done refresh it ignore the warnings now you will see that uh, bruce have the updated password and email id so Thanks for watching this video. If you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye-bye. Take care.